Thanks for joining us. During this week in 1909, A.A. A. Karskalen reported his progress spreading the gospel in Kenya to Adventist Review readers. Writing of the considerable challenges he faced, in seven words he stated his reason for leaving America to pioneer the work in Kenya. The real need here is the gospel. Born in Ontario, Canada in 1879, Arthur Asa Karskalen was baptized into the Adventist Church at 20 and upon receiving ministerial training at Union and Newbold, accepted a call to start the work in Kenya with his new bride, Helen Thompson, and a Malawian named Peter Nyambo, his classmate at Newbold, the three left for East Africa in late 1906. Karskalen was a superintendent of the British East Africa mission for 13 years. During that time, he, Helen, and Yambo were instrumental in establishing numerous mission stations, health clinics, schools, printing presses, and churches throughout the region. Impressively, Karskalen mastered the Luo language, becoming the first to write it. He published the only grammar textbook and dictionary in the Luo tongue at the time and translated portions of the New Testament. One individual Karskalen won to Adventism was Anyango Obama from Kendu Bay on the shore of Lake Victoria. Nine years old at the time the Karskalens arrived, Anyango attended Adventist boarding school and later much of his family followed his lead and became Seventh-day Adventist Christians. To this day, many of the Obama family members are Seventh-day Adventists. By the way, Anyango Obama was the grandfather of the 44th President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. And that was this week in Adventist history.